folks this is a brief overview of the mahadi rom in my oneplus one i have rooted this phone and just try the mahadi rom try a number of different roms i believe this is the best rom because it has all the features and it's very 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 smooth actually i feel it's even more smooth than with the original cm11 rom coming with this phone as you can see this is a boot animation which i have installed you can download this for free from the play store okay it's just booting at the moment this phone is a little bit slow to boot up there you go as you can see this is a the lock screen as you can see mahadi icon is there uh the lock screen you'll get date time etc and yeah there you go i've not put any lock screen you can see the pull down notification this is a standard cm11 stuff you can pull down from the right and left different different things will come this is a new microsoft next lock screen just trying it out now doing a review on that okay uh pull down from the left you get the notification chamber and pull down from the right you get the shortcuts and uh, as you can see it's very smooth rom you get uh, hardware button from the screen you get software buttons as well you can enable it in settings if you go to settings you can see this is the different options you get standard cm11 nothing different wifi mobile networks bluetooth data usage data usage in more you'll get nfc uh default sms plan airplane mode cell broadcast um uh, you get the different type of you can change the home bottle type of launcher you want to take go to sounds you get um uh, quite hours as you can see it's just standard you can get all the details there in display if you go go to display you can do color enhancement adaptive backlighting sunlight enhancement you can enable screen rotation disable it you can enable screen uh, recorder the animations you can get over here double tap to wake wait sorry ah uh, let me see anything oops you can on the, on and off the torch Let's see uh you can choose your buttons you can if you choose navigation bar you can enable disable the home screen buttons i mean the buttons on the uh, phone you have slim pipe you can enable that you have pa pi all this doesn't come in the original cm11 it will only come with the modified roms like uh, mahadi so like i said it's uh, this is one reason why i like it over the cm11 it's kind of actually more stable as well and the cm11 then you go to storage you get 64 gb a set of 64 gb phone out of which 54.7 you get 54 gb uh, memory in. you get profiles locations notification you can make the changes like you have heads up you can add lock screen notifications um the lock screen you have you can put the slider targets you can put, uh you can make the lock screen transparent then you have the the privacy which is typical you can blacklist numbers you can filter the notifications you can add your accounts here and then oops, you go to themes you can download all these themes for your phone it's just typical uh cm11 just change the theme for the moment and apply that the look of the phone changes this is on the material hazy beta 4 and then the lock screen changes the icon changes everything changes um you get the standard android 4.3 camera in this which i've deinstalled which i've removed now at the moment i the cm11 camera works in this perfectly as you can see this is the back camera you go to settings you get all the options uh the, save raw image this is the latest update where you can uh, save raw files images as raw files um you get burst mode but once you put raw images on the burst mode doesn't work you can choose a shutter speed for slow shutter for night photographs um you get 
time lapse video uh, you get the same video recording and one thing new which you get on that camera is the bright screen so it will be maximum bright when you on the camera application oops go to the camera application and the screen become bright um, pretty fast camera and the, the photo has been taken you just swipe and to delete it just swipe down and up mm. this is the front facing camera and that's me recording with my S5 and there you go it tracks the face and you can add live effects as well for this mode action, night, study photo, mono, sepia etc and yeah what else I can show you and the standard app that comes with our sorry it comes with Apollo music player it comes with the calendar it comes with downloads it comes with no file manager um, you get the standard gallery you get hangouts um, you get the play store yeah just about the standard sets of apps but it's a very nice phone very stable phone very fast phone um, I'll just play the music on this phone and you can hear it's very loud. Um, let me see. 10 things I hate about you are coming down. And, and so the maximum, it's got very nice volume. As you can see, I've showed you. It's got dual mono speakers. So it's very, very nice volume. Okay, that's just about it. Very nice phone. Very. Phenomenal value for money phone. This is a flagship pillar to claim. I will not say that because of two things. One, it has no expandable storage. Second, um, this phone is still not yet available in much in the market. So once they can solve these two availabilities, even the next generation, then it can be a flagship pillar. Till then, awesome phone. And maybe they can trim the bezels around. The bezel on the bottom is very bad. That's because of these buttons. But very nicely designed phone. Much better than the Samsungs out there. Very nice UI, everything. Um, I'll give it 8.5 out of 10 just for these two reasons. Anyhow, try this phone, you'll enjoy it. Till then, bye bye.